All right, now I'm on the back side of the homework, P196. Kitchen sink is a rectangular prism, 19 7 eighths times 14 and 3 fourths times 10. So you're just multiplying those. Oh, estimate the volume. Ooh, even better. This makes it easier. We can get rid of these fractions. 19 and 7 eighths is about 20. 14 and 3 fourths is about 15 and then times 10. So those are the numbers you should use for your estimate. So even better, we don't have to deal with those fractions. Okay, number two, a storage container is a rectangular prism that is 65 centimeters long, 40 centimeters wide, with a volume of 62,400. So this time they gave us the volume. Remember our formula is volume equals length times width times height. They gave us the volume, V, 62,400. And then they gave us 65 times 40 times, and we don't know the height. So you need to multiply these two numbers. You'll get an answer, and you'll multiply that by H. But you don't actually have to do that multiplication because then you'll divide both sides by whatever this number is leaving you with just H on this side, and then you'll divide 62,400 by that same number, and you'll get what H equals. Okay, number three, Carrie started at the southeast corner of Franklin Park, Park, excuse me, walked north, that would be north 240, turned and walked west 80, and then turned and walked diagonally back to where she started. So we formed a triangle. What is the area of the triangle enclosed by the path she walked? So you need to do 240 times 80. Remember, area equals, for a triangle, area equals 1 half length times width. So you'll plug in 240 and 80, and then times that by a half. And that will give you your final answer. Okay, the dimensions of a rectangular, uh, rectangular garage are 100 times the dimensions of the floor plan of the garage. The area of the floor plan is eight square inches. What is the area of the garage? Okay, so um, let me think back. Yeah, that's going to be um, 100 times 100, is that right? Let me see. It's going to be 1 with four zeros behind it. Yeah. So remember, um, if the dimensions are 100 times bigger, the area is going to be 100 squared times bigger. So it's going to be 10,000 times bigger. 10,000 times what? Well, the area of the floor plan was 8 square inches, so 10,000 times 8. And that will give you the area of the actual garage. All right, Shiloh wants to create a paper mache box shaped like a rectangular prism. Brought boxes 4 by 5 by 8. You're going to multiply those three numbers, 4 times 5 times 8. Number 6, a box is filled with 220 cubes with a side length of a half unit. What is the volume of the box in cubic units? Okay, let's see, that would be one. Yeah, so you have to do 1 eighth times 220, which you can put it as 220 over 1. Because remember, it's cubic units, so one half times one half times one half. That's how I'm getting the one eighth. Cubed means times itself three times. Then I can cross simplify here. Two goes into eight four times. Two goes into 210, 110. Oh, I can simplify even further. Two goes into four two times. Two goes into 110, uh, what, 55 times. So that's going to be 55 over 2. And then if we divide that out, 2 goes into 55 27 times with one remainder. So 27 and a half, and it's units 
cubed. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.